Hey everyone watching, I'm Pal Phenom, and today we're back with the go-kart mower, or the race mower, or whatever you want to call it. And today, hopefully, we're going to be driving it today, so I'm really pumped about that. Uh, I, got, I did a bit of uh, work off camera, just so I can kind of get this uh, done quicker. But uh, we're not going to be working on it outside, or in the garage, and we're going to be moving it down into my basement because it's way too cold in the garage. There's no insulation in there. It's like 30 degrees out here right now. And uh, so I'm just gonna move it down in my basement and that's kind of be, that's gonna be like my, uh, I guess my shop for the rest of the winter because I have a pretty big basement. I'll show you guys uh, once I roll this down because I have to roll the lawnmower down through the yard and around the house and down a little slope and then I just have to roll it into the basement because the basement does have like a little sliding door and uh, I can just kind of throw it in there. And uh, that way I can work on it much more and get a lot more done quicker. So I don't have to worry about weather or anything like that. Alright, so the mower's out in all its glory once again. It's been a, quite a while since I've actually uh, took it out and started it. So, um, I'm not going to do that right now because I just want to move this thing down. I got a lot of pushing to do. Okay, I'm making a big assumption that you guys can see what I'm doing, but... <laughs> pushing this through the snow is going to be a pain. Yeah. As a matter of fact, it's not that bad. All right, we've reached the drop off. Now, I'm gonna have to line this up straight so I don't hit that or the house with the tubing. So, I'm just gonna ride it down. I'll hit the brakes if I have to. Because the brakes are working. I'll go over it when, uh, when I get it in. I'll show you guys the new shop setup. All right, brakes work, good. All right. I should have wore gloves when I did this. <sighs> okay, so after one, uh, Failed attempt at trying to get this in my basement. Uh, it was too big, it didn't even fit through the door. Uh, and to just to compensate with the heat, I just kinda uh, got this uh, bad boy running again. It's been like 10 years since we've ever used it. And they got the place warm. I just got the door cracked open a bit, just so it doesn't smell like charcoal. Uh, but let me show you guys what I've gotten done um, over the past, uh, I don't know, like three weeks. So firstly, we're gonna start with the rear end because that's all we've really done. Uh, the sprocket is on there, that's always good. Uh, the brake is on there and it's linked up through the L bracket that I just cut and it's just bolted into the frame. So now uh, we do have brakes and they work good. Uh, I already tested them like a while back. And the sprocket is, uh, I guess, it's not very flush with the clutch. There you can see it there. You look straight, uh, you can see it through there. It's not exactly perfectly flush, but it is flush. I'm pretty sure at some point I'm gonna have to make a jack shaft because this is extremely long. I'm gonna have to run the chain through there, to there, and I'm expecting it to fall off because that, uh, that's what I'm expecting it to do. I mean, why wouldn't you? Because it's like, a, I don't know, like an eight feet long chain. So let me just uh, get right into it, run this chain through and uh, I'm gonna roll this outside and see if we can drive it. Okay, so this little guy might prevent me from actually driving this today because this link is bent and it just came off as the 
I was feeding the chain through uh, the slot I made. So this might actually prevent me from driving this until I get a new one. Uh, the one up front, uh, one of them was actually bent before and I had to, get to go to the store and get a new one. And uh, this one also appears to be bent and so it might not hold. And I don't, wanna, I don't want this to fly off and go somewhere, even though it's not gonna hit anything. Um, since I I made little brackets that uh, run the chains through, so it's not gonna hit me or anything like that while it's running. But uh, this link might be a problem. I'm gonna put it back on and hope I don't have any problems with it. So the link I was just working with uh, broke. Well, that sucks. <laughs> the link I just bought, I just kind of put it on there uh, in replacement. No. Uh, where is it? I don't know. Oh, here it is here. There it is there. So, there, that's the link. Uh, the brand new one. It was in here. And the, the little clamp broke on the other one. So, I'm just going to have to go to the store. Which, they have, I just called them. They haven't been stocking. They don't close till 8. So, I'm going to have to go out and just get a new link. Also, I just realized while I'm sitting here. Um, if you guys want to see how the brakes work. In case uh, any of you guys ever want to do a setup like this, here's what I did. For the pedal itself, the pedal didn't have a built-in spring, so I put one there. <laughs> Pretty much, I just drilled a hole in the dash, drilled a hole there, and I just linked it through. And just for extra, I just taped it there, taped it there too, just uh, for extra support so it doesn't come out. So now when you push it, uh, it's kind of hard to push fully down with my hand, but there we go. That's as far as it goes. And then when you let go, it just shoots right back. And as far goes as the link, you can't really see it. Let me see if I can, there we go. Uh, there's a whole system underneath this mower that I went over a bit back, I'm pretty sure. And there's a rod and it goes underneath this. And pretty much I just ran it through. Well, it, 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 that's where it originally sat. And I just kind of tied uh, that. It's like a little bendable metal rod through it. And so when I engage the brake, and that's how the brakes work. So it's a pretty straightforward system. It's nothing really advanced, no welding involved. Uh, yeah, so in case you guys ever want to do a setup like that, uh, that's how I did my brakes. <laughs> All right, we're back out here, new day. See it's bright out. We got more than enough uh, hours of sunlight to get this uh, thing driving. Uh, we got the chain there. Uh, we got our impact gun. We do want to take off something. And uh, we got the master link. <laughs> which was preventing us from uh, driving it yesterday because uh, one of the links broke and no big deal. Uh, so this is all I needed. Uh, and it got too dark out yesterday to drive it actually. Since, and it got too cold <laughs> and the garage like went into like, the, 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 I don't know, like the 15 degrees I'd say. And it was terrible. So um, we're gonna get uh, the master link on, run the chain through and I do wanna take off I want to take off this little guy here, uh, here, I do want to take that off because I do feel it's going to uh, interrupt the chain flow. Well, everything's all linked up. This is not going to work at all, I can see probably, but I'm going to try and drive it anyway. It doesn't really matter. I am definitely going to have to make a jack shaft or some kind of separator here that separates the top from the bottom because that's literally going to be rubbing. Uh, but yeah, and I'm definitely gonna have to get tensioners, uh, in multiple areas on this chain, obviously. So like I said, I'm not expecting this to work, uh, but will it move? Hopefully. But I guess this will be our first drive attempt. The more I'm not that excited, like I said, because I expect it to just fail instantly. But, uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, once again, I don't expect this to work, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. Test drive number one. Whoa! Well, she drives. <laughs> All right, that's what I expected. Woo! She moves. It worked. 
It's what I expected, but it moved under its own power. I didn't expect it to move at all. I just expected it to fail, but <laughs> I'm just shocked it moved. Uh, the chain did come off. Well, the link is like right here, uh, but it moved. That's all I'm satisfied with. Uh, I'm gonna roll it back, put the chain uh, back together and put it back on and uh, see if I can try it again. All right, so it's been a bit because the sun's going down and I've just been tinkering around with the setup using the jack stands I have and just trying to make the, the chain work right. So I got the I got it to the point where the chain doesn't come apart anymore. Uh, it just comes off every three seconds. So at this point right now, it's kind of undrivable right now until I make a tensioner and a jack shaft for it, which shouldn't take long because I have all the tools to do it right now so it shouldn't take long the next video i'll be doing that i'll be running this back to here and then i'll have a jack shaft here and then just cut another hole and just run it to the sprocket so it doesn't come off every three seconds and then i'm also gonna have to like try and make some uh some sort of system to make it so that this chain doesn't move side to side much because that's also another big reason why the chain comes off every two seconds when you get moving so pretty much until i do all that stuff it's not really drivable but when i do this thing should be uh good to go but my goal was to just get it moving and like i said i did expect it to not work uh, with this current system because it just wasn't good and this is what i was expecting so no big deal well i think i'm gonna call it a video there i accomplished what i wanted to do which was get it moving, and I did do that. It doesn't move far or well, but that's what I wanted to do was just get it moving, and I did that. So I'm gonna end the video off here. Next video, we're gonna be making the jack shaft and making the drive line system a lot more better and reliable so that we can actually start efficiently driving it without having any uh, big issues. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.